Family, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. My name is Yamkela Joseph, and this is Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that we are living in a time where the Spirit of the Lord is ready to change the lives of mankind all over the world. The world is getting darker every day, and things are becoming bad for the people of the world. The Bible makes it clear in that book of Isaiah, number 60, that a rise and shining light has come, the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. He says, darkness will fill the earth, deep darkness will cover the people, but the light of the Lord will shine upon you, and the kings of the earth will come to your light. We're living in a time where the earth is getting full of darkness. We're living in a time where the systems of the earth are being destroyed. That's why you, as a child of God right now, you need to take your rightful position and become the light of the world and become what Jesus has called you for. Now, I come to you this time, my Lord, to tell you about the vision the Lord gave me, why the Lord showed me the son of perdition, the Antichrist, the son of the devil, the mark of the beast that is already being introduced in the world right now. Now, family, in this vision, the Lord visited me on Wednesday, early in the morning, around 2 a.m. in the morning. I got the visitation from the Lord. In this vision, I see churches, preachers, preaching that the children of God must accept the mark of the beast. That the mark of the beast is 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 not harm. The way in this in this vision, I see a congregation. It it was in a congregation, and it's like I'm also part of the setting of this congregation. I'm built to minister or something in this congregation. Then there's a long chew in this vision. I see a chew, and as I look at this chew. There, there is a mark, but this mark is like it's a cross here at the hand. That is it's a cross that is being done at the hand. A cross that is being done at the end. At the, at the hands like this. And the church is full. And now this man of God, a preacher, he now teaches these people that to accept this mark in their hand, it is not a sin it is comfort there's nothing wrong with it it is they must accept it there's not there's no harm that's what they said there's no harm in accepting this man then in this vision i go to this man and i say to him but why are you making the people to accept this mark because this is the mark of the beast he said no this is not the mark. He said to me that you must also accept this mark. I don't know what happened in this vision. Because also me in this vision, I end up giving my hand. And I also get this mark from this guy. But after, it, it's, not, it's not the triple six, this one. It's like a cross in my hand. Then when I begin to get this cross in my hand, then I go and sit down. It's in a congregation. It's like we're in a congregation. Then when I get this cross in my hand, something in me feels a little bit, you know, when you're in a vision, you can feel your emotions. It feels like, but isn't that this the mark? But at the same time, something says, no, this is not the mark. Then the God of heavens begins to appear before me then. He starts telling me that I should now warn pastors that the, the Lord Jesus is coming and the mark of the beast is ready. In this vision, the Lord said to me, he is now marking his own. In the church, he is now marking his own. Now, Isaiah, I mean the book of Malachi, Malachi number four, last, it, it says, in that time you will see the difference between them that serve the Lord and them that do not. Now God is marking because in this vision I thought it was the mark of the beast 
when we were in the church as 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 a sea it's it, it's a cross in my hand when i see but the lord said to me now you have to speak now because now that i'm marking the devil is also marking the mark of the beast is ready and the church must not be acquainted must not be friendly with the world because if now the church is friendly with the world they will accept the mark of the beast and not know the difference now they will accept the mark of the beast now the mark of the beast is ready so the lord said to me i want you to warn pastors who are preaching the world who are making people to have more appetite for the world who are telling people to enjoy the world who are teaching people to be friendly with the world they are preparing them to accept the mark of the beast because in this vision i saw pastors say it is not wrong to accept the mark of the beast there is no harm now the lord said to me i have to warn them that continuing to preach and point the people to the world you are preparing them for the antichrist when you point people to be more of concentrated to the material world the bible said don't you know that being friends with the world is being enemy with god now the lord jesus was very 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 sad in this because the church of god cannot know the difference between the mark of the beast and the mark of the lamb of god pastors are preaching the world they are talking to the children of god to prepare themselves to joy, to enjoy the world the world is not going to be the same again the king of glory is coming the antichrist is already born the antichrist is here the antichrist right now he's here he's born he's alive the antichrist is alive that's what the lord told me the pope the benedict pope francis his last pope he's a false prophet he's a prophet that is is a false prophet that is written in the book of revelations number 13. The, this kind of a pope is preparing the world for the antichrist pope francis that's what jesus said he's the false prophet that is written in the book of revelation he's preparing for the beast and this pope, pope francis he has now made an arrangement this year in september of religious leaders to meet in the vatican and to invite religious leaders to come and sign a pact of the one world religion remember the antichrist will have will be the leader of one world religion now as you can see in the screen the pope is now arranging for the one world religion calling leaders all over the world to come and sign a pact to make one world religion and in this religion it will not be involving the bible he is not from god pope francis is an agent that is written in the book of revelation the end has come the mark of the beast is here bill gates he is now saying he has a mark a microchip that he can put on people so that they can be known if they were vaccinated or not said so this microchip is ready so that each and every person who is vaccinated can be marked and they will be able to travel but if you are not vaccinated and you don't have that mark as a form of identity then you won't be able to trade you won't be able to do anything because that mark will have your identity it can have your 
identity documents, your bank cards and everything will be on the mark and that mark will be placed in you. The Christian community is sleeping. We are sleeping. The world is coming to an end. This coronavirus issue is not just about it. There's a message the Lord is sending. What are we learning? Not in the history of the world has the church all over the world stopped its services. All over the world, the church has closed down. It's a message. A time has come. The persecution is beginning. Jesus said, when you say these things, you shall know it is the beginning of the labor pains. Are you ready? Family, it's now time. The Messiah is coming. The mark of the beast is ready. The Lord Jesus is warning the church stop sleeping it's time to arise it's time for the church of god to arise it's time to stand in the faith the bible says in the book of revelation 3 10 because you have kept my commandments i'll also keep you on the great hour of testing that is about to come to the world we are entering in the tribulation we are entering in the tribulation those who think that the rapture will happen before the tribulation now we are entering in the tribulation each and every christian will have to pledge their allegiance to christ they will be proved before the son of perdition before the ruler of this world that are they real on their faith some will have to prepare to die for this gospel we are not going to escape we will go through this. There is no escaping theology here. Family, the tribulation is about to begin. Are you ready to stand for Christ? It is time to stand. It is time to stand. The persecution of the church will now begin. The mark of the beast has now been introduced. So family, right now, the Lord gave me this vision to warn, to warn ministers of the gospel, to warn pastors, don't preach the world to the children of God. It is time to point the people of God into the Lord Jesus. First prophets who are preaching the people and giving them the love of money, the love of the world, teaching them to be comfortable in sin it is time you repent and teach the people of god to live in holiness in righteousness a time has come my name is Amtala joseph the lord says as you own a time has come a time has come for the church of god to prepare a time has come in this vision the Lord said to me, the Antichrist mark is ready. Are you ready as a Christian to reject the mark of the beast when everything says you must accept it? It is time to accept the Lord Jesus. Continue to pray. Pray and watch. The Messiah is coming. The Lord of glory is coming. May the Lord help you. May the Lord Jesus help you to stand in faith. Blessed are those who stand until the end. For to them, I will give them the crown of life. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. Remember, this is Jesus' friends. Continue to subscribe. Continue to click the notifications. I'm here to take you to the presence of God. Until I see you next time. Shalom.